Flying Singles Contest is a semi-final matchup in Super Indy 14. It is scheduled for one fall with a 25-minute time limit. We're going to do a ringside by the Miley Cyrus of professional wrestling, Ray Lynn, representing the hashtag Platinum Blonde World Tour. He weighs in at 203 pounds, wrestling out of Indianapolis, Indiana. He is the Justin Bieber of professional wrestling, Dylan Bustick. Jaworth, what do you think? Easiest first round participation in Super Indy history? I can't think of one that went any easier. Obviously, no disrespect to Super Anti, but Anti was in no medical shape to compete, and Bostic took advantage of Anti's pride and his inability to quit. Bostic picked the bones and Anti's body gave out. Yeah, they got conditioned to quit, and it's what? That didn't Tell stop him niggas we ain't having from it. He still went in. He still gave it his best effort. But Dylan Boston got a pretty easy victory based upon the injury that uh, Hentai had to go through. It's almost like Boston had a buy in his own right. right and and his opponent. He weighs in at 195 pounds. By the other skies of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, he is your reigning and defending IWC Super Indy Champion. Andrew Paulus! Great ovation for the man who's played as Super Indy Champion for the past eight months now. I do believe that if you look at the IWC history books, Paulus is something along the lines of fifth or sixth all time for the longest reign as champion. Not too shabby for a young kid in his early 20s. Two young men in the early 20s here. Palace forced to temporarily, at least so he hopes, hand over the Super Indy Championship. Only one man has ever gone coast to coast, i.e. entered Super Indy as champion and left as champion as well. That, of course, being the infamous RJ City. I don't think you quite said that. Before. I am not going to uh, give the inflection on his name with Mr. City. And Palace. Building the energy now. Kyle Nelpo with Bostick. And again, Palace trained and prepared for somebody that would not have a bye, that would certainly be somewhat tired. Palace earned a bye because he's the reigning and defending champion. Bostic did not earn to enter this round so fresh. That was a victim of circumstance, thanks to the face of change with Joe Rosa. Yeah, but what if Sun Tzu hadn't fought the War of the Seven Hills? You can talk about all these tangents, but what it comes down to is he's here. There are there are a hundred different things that could have happened, that might have happened, that should have happened. Yeah, but one of them did that shouldn't have. You how do, how can you say it shouldn't have? It is what happened. Whether it should or shouldn't have is irrelevant to the fact that it has happened. You're and actually, right now, well, yeah, he's yeah. here. I, I, are you out here trying to defend the face to change what they did at head time? No, I'm just saying I'm not angry at Dylan Bostic over it. I'm not angry at Dylan Bostic either. I'm just pointing out that he had an easy road to, the, to this round. But that's not his fault. Didn't say it was. It's not It's not like it's going to be an easy task to get past the fresh Andrew Pack. It won't. Bostic drops down. Fujiwara armbar by Bostic. Submission attempt. Extended out like they should. I, well, I, think I don't know that he got. Oh, look at that! Palace turns to a cross sword break. That's a great counter. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. I don't know that I have. I was gonna say, Dylan on the ropes. Andrew Palace taking advantage of that count. He has still five, you know, Joe. I have heard that rumor. Is Dylan all about image and social status? I wonder how he's gonna look if he has to separate his shoulders. I'm sure he'll probably have a very fashionable arm race. Only if Bieber would wear it. Oh! No! Bostic elevated. Palace wrenching the hell out of that arm and shoulder. Yeah, 
freestyle now. Up and over. Almost Kurt Hennig style by Andrew Cowell. Oh. Chest first into the turnbuckle. Foster wasn't planning on any of this. Dangerous territory with these two men. Oh! Alex looking to power bomb Bostic. Oh! Sharp kick. Oh! So Bostic walks at the back of Palace. Man, Bostic measures Palace, and he he caught him full on. And keep in mind, Bostic likes to use that backbreaker, that backcracker. And Bostic zeroing in on the back of Palace. He saw his opportunity and he struck. And boy, did he strike. That was every ounce of him coming down in that skull. Palace! Yeah, here's Palace! Here's the come alive for Palace. Bostic has this uh, this great fight in high on Palace, right around the lungs, not around the waistline. That increases the effectiveness as far as restricting the air passages of the champion. Also, worth pointing out that uh, with that back injury, it does make it harder to, to take a breath in. 100%, 100%. You take a stomp to the back like that, it makes it hard to breathe. Bostic zeroing in, cover shoulders down for two. Bostic just zeroing in on that part of the body and just, just restricting every bit he can. And now Bostic going for the Boston crowd. And we saw this utilized successfully against Hentai. Well, if it worked for you once, as, you, as we've already said, dance with who brung you. Sure. And again, a, a traditional Boston crowd will target the knees and the back. We saw Bostic take advantage of the knee of Hentai and now creating an opening with the back on Palace. And again, right back to that, uh, that rear waist lock, not even a waist lock, but that rear hold, almost amateur style. Compressing, and you can see Palace, you can, you can look at his intercostals now, you can see him try to take in breaths, but they're very short, hurried breaths. He's also trying to maneuver in a way so that he can get get the pressure off his lungs oh, so he can start breathing again. Now one shot is all Boston needs to shut him down. You gotta believe. Oh. There's a cover as Bostic asks who sucks now and gets the usual response. A lot of rude fans here, Joe. I think Dylan Bostic's kind of rude the way he looks down on all these people. I don't know why you gotta be a hater. Excuse me? So you're a hater. H-A-T-E-R. Next thing you know, you're going to be saying bye Felicia to me like Ray Lynch. <laughs> you're a hater like Bill. <laughs> Nobody owned the knee drop that time. See, there's a comic actor named Bill Hater. I understand where you're going. <laughs> Reverse of my palace. Oh, oh good no. catch. Palace went leapfrog Bostic with a bridge on, but no doing in the Boston crowd. Palace fights his way out. Up and down with the atomic drop. Oh. Right on the tailbone of Bostic. And Palace, nice high angle neck breaker. Bostic landed high and tight. That was a. That was a very nice hung up neck breaker. It was on fleek, Joe. This, what? On fleek. Uh, have Ray Lynn explain that one to you. Who's fleek? Uh, the guy who used to work here? Never mind. Bostic elevates Palace. Oh. Ray Lynn has signed a disgust on her face a moment ago. Up and over. There we go. Red style packages him up and got two. And 
Palace, you can sense that desperation though. Palace is hurt. Palace having trouble breathing. But Palace still gonna fight. And Ray Lynn has the uh, has his foot. It looked like he was gonna take off there. And that created an opening for Boston. Oh! Spinning DDT rolling through into a chancery. He's got the body scissor in. He does, he does, absolutely. He is center of the ring, Joe. Palace having to uh, support all of Bostick's body weight. He's up. Oh! And down, a modified riding bomb, sky high to a no. And again, you can see just the, the pained gasps of Andrew Palace just, just trying to breathe, let alone fight. A Boston Cup Palace coming in. A nice single single leg trip. And again into the Boston Crab. Yeah, second time. And Bostic. Ten minutes gone by in this contest. Ten minutes. Trying to sit back with him, a palace turning his body, reaching for a rope. There we go. And he lets go at one. I think Bostic uh, knew he wasn't going to win in that environment. Oh! Hello! Short arm clothesline from hell, maybe. Two and no. He might have just made Palace a believer. Who would have thought the young little firecracker had that at him? That was, a, that was a heck of a strike. Oh! oh Palace sent Bostic into the steel. A hard tumble with Palace with a toe back at eight roll. And you can tell the back's bothering him, but it, he's got it working, he's got it moving, he's pushing away the pain, Joe. Yeah, the back, the rib cage, anything that involves that old, anything with breathing, Palace is struggling with. Wait a second, Ray Lynn. Again, holding the leg. Yeah, come on. And Palace is trying not to kick her, but still trying to get free. Oh! Oh! Palace. oh. Now Palace hits hard into the guardrail. And keep in mind the damage already done to the back, Jay Warren. Yeah, he, I mean, he flew off that. Uh, I don't know that he had his footing when he tried to get off the the apron and he just went straight back into that railing. I think he tried to catch his footing and just got caught up in one of those protective mats. You yeah. can see the match just lie. Yeah, something went wrong there. <laughs> and unfortunately the back that was already damaged took the brunt of it, but Palace back in beating the 10 count. But Bostic in his elbow. Oh! oh, Bostic caught the backcracker. Oh, Palace's entire body snapped. And no! Palace kicked out! Palace is not willing to give up the title that easy. And Bostic is shocked. The pet move of Bostic since before RWC. All the way back to OBW to his teenage years. Not to mention onto a pretty injured back at this point. Bostic does not go upstairs very often. There you see why! Nobody home in the elbow! Palace trying to pull himself up. He needs to capitalize right now. Palace oh, dig, digging down deep, hurting a driver. Raylan again, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, icing on the cake. Already damaged, him up. Here is your winner, Mookie.
moving on to the finals, Dylan Bostick. My pick's out, Joe. Dylan Bostick is in the Super Indy Finals. And he made a believer out of Andrew Palace. What a low blow. It worked. Bostick's over two in my mind. He won a non-match, and then he, he couldn't beat a guy with an injured back, so he took a cheap shot. Not what Super Indy's about in my mind, but the finals are about, among two others, this man, social status personified, swaggy D, Dylan Bostick moves on, and I feel for Andrew Palace. We can confirm it, Jay, where tonight we both crown a new Super Indy champion. Palace has lost his title. A great sign of respect for that young man. There will be many battles to be fought ahead. Andrew Palace back to the drawing board, but you know he'll be back, and you know he'll want to get back what was until a moment ago his. 